The father wants to put on Esau his blessing. But he says it's going to cost you. Go get me a seed so that with that seed you can then draw out the blessing from me. Before Esau showed up before the father, Jacob showed up. And Jacob brought the seed. And the father released because the harvest will always respect the seed. So when he brought the seed, Pastor Matthew will always say something. When you see a prophetic word released to someone and you are in that environment, don't say that prophetic word is for that someone. You are there. You yourself, you can download it. So somehow Jacob went and downloaded the blessing of their father upon his life with the seed that he gave to his father. So when his brother came to his father, the father said, well, I didn't know it wasn't you. While you were gone, I had released the blessing to your, to your brother. And then Esau said, father, but you must have another blessing. You must say something over my life. And the father says, you know what? If I must say something, then I'd like to let you know that before you can eat, you have to wait on your brother. Before you can live in a house, you have to wait on your brother. Before you can make any progress in life, you will have to be with the permission of your brother. Before you can rub two coins together, your brother will have to give it to you. And Bible tells us that Esau was so hungry that he wanted to kill his brother. And then Jacob ran out of town. They were then to come back and meet years later, decades later, when Jacob was tired of the kind of life that he was living. He went to Laban and at Laban and Co. He did all the work, but he had nothing to show for it. He didn't have promotion on the job. Don't forget that the father said something on him. So then he made up his mind that he was going to go back home. And now when he was going back home, he decided that my brother must still be hungry. Because I heard what father said to him. That he was cursed. That he won't have if I don't give to him. And I've been far away from him all these years. He must be so mad at me. So let me take out of the stuff that I have. And send ahead of me and give him a bit. When he has that perhaps... He will show me mercy. He will have compassion on me and he will not kill me. So when they brought the stuff to Esau, Esau saw the stuff and Esau was wondering what's that for? When he met with his brother, he says, I have a question for you. I saw you, you sent me some checks. I saw that you sent me some um, deeds to some house. I saw that you sent me some, some, some cars. What's that for? And he says, well, Maybe you are not aware, I know that you were cursed when Papa spoke over you. And me that I was blessed by Papa, I know how difficult he had been. So I have sent this to be able to find your favor. And Esau said, ha, 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 ha. You did not hear all that Papa said. Indeed, Papa said, you are going to feed me. It, did, it was true that he said, you are going to give me shelter and all of that. But he also said one thing, that if I become restless, I will break that yoke off my neck. And then, Bible tells us that this man, by the time his brother met him, he said, I don't need your money. I have money in overflow. I don't need your houses because I now also give houses away. I don't need your job because I have businesses that I'm even looking for people to manage. I am saying to someone under the sound of my voice, even before anybody curse you, God has already blessed you. You didn't hear me. Whoever wants to curse you or whatever wants to come, it's not coming in you. He may try to come on you, but if you are restless because you know what is in the inside of you, you can get that which is in the inside of you. And I thought I heard somebody said yesterday, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Somebody shout, I have something. I have something. I have something. I have something.